We'll step aside, Bill Gates, because Jeff Bezos is getting in the lab-grown food game. Jeff Bezos came out with a FDA-approved lab-grown salmon without any independent testing or peer-reviewed studies, relying solely on wild types self-reported data. Wild type is the name of the company. And yes, you heard that right. It is lab-grown salmon. No animal trials were conducted to assess health impacts, bypassing normal safety protocols expected for new food technologies. The product was approved under the GRAS, generally recognized as safe loophole, a mechanism critics say is not suitable for novel biotech foods. How convenient. Details about chemical additives, nutrient cocktails, and growth factors like FGF2, which may pose long-term health risks, were not publicly disclosed. The FDA's regulatory decision lacked transparency, sparking concern that public health oversight is being outsourced to private corporations. This has been a criticism for quite some time. Why are private corporations involved in something that the government should be paying attention to. Unlike lab-grown meat, which shares oversight with the USDA, lab-grown seafood is solely regulated by the FDA, leaving critical gaps in food safety governance. Critics argue that the FDA's move sets a dangerous precedent, allowing experimental foods into the market with minimal scientific scrutiny. States like Florida and Alabama are already pushing back, proposing or passing laws banning the sale of lab-grown meats, and potentially extending those to seafood. I don't know why you would not automatically do that. Environmental claims made by a wild type remain unverified, with studies showing lab-grown proteins that may require more energy and emit more CO2 than traditional meats. But these billionaires can get away with this. You and I, we if we fart in the wrong direction, we that's a problem for CO2. But these guys can do whatever it is that they want because they're billionaires. Public trust is eroded in billionaires like Jeff Bezos, who can fast-track controversial food products through a regulatory system that appears to be captured or complacent. And that's the problem that we have with our regulatory agencies, is that they're captured. And what that means is, is that there's a lot of people who were previously in government who were offered a lot of money to leave or retire from the government office and then go into lobbying for these companies 